Hello folks and welcome back to Bay Spring here for Well, it's gonna be an interesting time for us. In April we've got some weeding to do. So the money's got down by about a hundred grand now it's because we've gone and bought a new weeder. We bought the Hardy Navigator 4000. Also we did upgrade this Deutsch Far 6165 to 6185. So now it's got 185 horsepower, a bit more grunting out, which is going to be needed, I think. But yeah, this costs us about 100 grand. So if we have a look. Of course, the base model was 54 grand. No, not that one. 54 and a half grand. But we had the weed spot control. And by the time you count for painting that, it was nice, it's grand, it was in the end. Or well, nice, then five. Also, four grand on herbicide, so. Ouch, that hurts. But, this will mean we're using 90% less of our herbicide, so it'll go longer, it'll go further for us, which is important. And this is ours, so we can use this for contract work. And if we have a look in contracts, eesh, only two contracts on 21 and 102, so that is the north of the map. Also, our grass is ready to mow, we can mow that and bake that for silage, which is going to be needed. And we really need to do that today to get the silage ready for tomorrow, in next month in May. By then, we're going to be out of signage. I can't believe we're in this situation. Also, what we talked about in the last episode with the whole Biden's for plots of land. I may try to go back to the bank and see if we can get another loan because, yeah, maybe last time the bank was a bit hesitant and giving us a 200 grand loan. But we did pay off quite quickly with the help of some contracts and that, so. Maybe they may be more lenient and just explain. We're going to be in the business of doing contracts for other farmers, make a name for ourselves in that, in a way of if you need anything to help out, little things, bathing, whatever it is, we can be that person, we can be dependable and reliable. Well, that's not our main project, that's not our main business. No, 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 just, just the icons for our cows. And I was like, what's that over there? So we'll go up to 21 first of all. Then we'll come back down, take a left there. And then we'll do fills 102. Well, scrap that idea because we can't herbicide. Guessing it's because these are small weeds, and yeah, technically you can get away with it by applying herbicide on small weeds. I guess in these farmers won't a complete uh what's it what's the words a complete organic way of doing it with the weeders. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, if you want produce an organic farm ourselves, like a full or fully organic one, then that's what we should use as a weeder. We have 45, no, a 50 meter one for 45 grand, but is it really going to be worth it? I'm not sure. Because we've already got it, it's already made the investment in the weeder, so... I'm going to have to say sorry. Ah, yeah, they want a weeder. Ah, uh, makes sense. Perhaps if we... I don't know. Yeah, I should have thought ahead on that. But don't get me wrong. I may use this for other contracts down the road. Because, well, you never know. Some farmers may let the weeds grow a bit further, or... even 
heck it. I mean, I'll be able to can we go down here, get to a farm. Yeah, we can. But yeah, heck it. Like, the other farmers he made side to either let the weeds grow or just we don't have the time to grow them. Well, not grow them. We don't mind are small, which is more efficient. But oh, give me the pressure. That means then they'll need someone with an actual herbicide sprayer. But that's where we come in for that, but yeah, well, just gonna have to wait for that opportunity to arise. Careful not smashing our new fertilizer spreader or herbicide sprayer. But this can do the good fertilizer as well. But yeah, we're not really aiming for it to be an organic farm soon, you know what? I might get away with doing this. There we go, unfold. We got 27 meters. Oh, is there a new beast here? Ah, there ain't. So it's only just the green crops then. Makes sense, but. Yep, grass is ready to harvest, yeah, I said he's rolling, but we made that choice not to roll. But, anywho, so now we need to have a look at actually what needs to be weeded, so go to weeds. Ah, it's only 62. That's probably because of the tillage in that. But yeah, it's only 62. That's got the bigger weeds. Yeah, but these ones here, they've even got small weeds at the moment, so. Well, looks like we're going to do that field then. So yeah, if we have a look here. What's that? Ooh, no. Oh, Try to sort that for Yeah, that is. Oh, we're a glitch. But anyways, I was, I was about to say. But yeah, so these weeds are popping up. That's what. That's what's to be desired to be sprayed, so. There we go, just get rid of all the weeds. Again, another uh, glitch fest there. But yeah, no idea what what is that doing. It's only when it's near us. But then it's also it's on really on that section of road there. I don't think I've encountered them on other parts of the map. But who knows? Perhaps there's going to be an update on that. Hopefully. But yeah, XRT with the weed spraying control. We've only used 20 litres of herbicide at the moment. That's issue that just spot spraying it. Bits where it doesn't need any spraying, like on the right side for example for now. It does nothing. And if we have a look, so yeah, 90% Expected yieldage. Has that registered yet? No, but. No. Go around then. But yeah, once we get this done, it's going to go back up to 95, no, 97 ish percent, 100%. As well, this will help with our environment score, I think. Actually, would it be better if we did it with a leader for environmental score? Because we do actually care about that though, so maybe worth having a look a sec. So go to the help section, see if there's anything here. Precision farming, there we go. We control. 
I'm stuck here. A speed sick girl where it feels you can see from up her sides. Yada yada yada, we knew that bit. Environment score, let's have a look here. So, a full score of 30 is reached when we're using the spot spraying. Ah, so yeah, if we use a mechanical we control, it's only 20. And that's because it leads to saw degradation of compaction, erosion, and new regeneration, and loss of soil moisture, along with fuel usage. And the yeah, addition minimum is 10, so. But yeah, and of course I have noticed with our main score hasn't really gone up too much. That's because yeah, we just didn't do the proper process of tilling the fields, tilling or tilling the fields. I'm sure, there's a word in there somewhere for that. But yeah, so that is pretty much all that done. Very quick, not really worth doing time lapse over. And that is done. Oh, we've only used. 70 liters. And there's one more weed over here. Boom. There we go. And yet it's got back up to 97, so. But yeah, we'll rush her eventually, but. But yeah, only 2% we've used. That is nice indeed. I'm guessing what we could do now for the rest of the day is... Right, my bad on that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. But yeah, so we can start doing the... mowing. And actually, those fields up there, are they all grass fields? Yes, they are. Apart from 108, so. So, yeah, that's all ready to mow as well. 108 does have a crop in it, which is soybeans. Ah, that may be interesting. And that's a good money crop, soybeans is, so. Maybe worth doing that. But yeah, we'll dump this somewhere over here. Work you over there. I'll grab the mower. And now, time for a big mow session here, I think. Mow it. Windrow it and then bait it. Or at least sort of start down here, then we'll work our way up north as we go along. Perhaps where north is more fertile, we can leave it for an extra day to. Yeah, perhaps be worth it. Giving it that extra month to get the most of it. Because it does spread even further. Is there any change in there? Oh, there is. Is it better or worse? Ask more yellow, so. 75% yieldage. 80% so you know what a 5% yield increase I am happy with that more take care of our fields more money we're gonna get and all that even though obviously this thing will be used to sell it's still very good to have as well but yeah I'll get the rest of this done and I'll see you folks afterwards
part of the fields. Pretty much done all of them apart from the two big ones on top. It did start doing that. However, I've had a four now, and there's those two big trees in the middle of the field, so... I'm thinking we just get rid of them. That's why we've got the... Tree Muncher out, Tree Devourer, as it's known as. And we've got a tree here ready. I think we're going to sell this tree as well, because there is a, another one that's popped up in the used market. 22 gram, I think it is. And a bit of a bigger capacity, this is 23,000 years. The other one we're going to be getting is 29,000 years, so significant increase, an extra 6,000 years, a 20% or so increase. We have a look here, yep, 23 grand. It does have a manure spreader function if we want to, but that's going to be an extra 12 grand. So I'm going to buy that now. And one that's I even use for this tree there, we'll get rid of these wood chips. There's only just two trees, so I doubt it's going to take all of it. Also, we'll see, we did start doing the headlands and that. May perhaps just cut some of these trees down here on our land, because they, yeah, they are on our property line, so. Sure, why not? Yeah, that would be an extra little bit of income for us. Which, again, at the end of the day, do no harm whatsoever. But come on, hopefully this one can manage it fine. With its new 180 horsepower engine. Actually, let's go around here. Is that gone? And yeah, I wish we did this more in the winter and that, get a bit more money out of it. But even still, wood chips. Ooh, ouch. Wish we did do it in the winter. Because that is actually half off. And as it was worst price April. No, it gets even worse. Oh, you know what? Sure, why not? Get rid of these trees here.
much is that little forestry area perhaps um, have a look a hundred and eighty nine grand maybe worth something looking into So I am cutting it. Head to Bikes Remarks and we'll sell this. Uh, grab one tree, why not? Actually. <laughs> So yeah, we'll go ahead and sell this. Yeah, we should fall out over the winter, but they should get double the money for it. Uh, I think it's here, right? There we go, wood chips. So I'll get a fair few monies for it. Nothing else interesting to use market. We'll return that. Actually, perhaps we shouldn't because we still have wood chips in there, but oh well. Didn't really fall about that. We're still going to cover the expenses, so you know what? Overall, not too bad. And that's a bit. 24. 40 grand plus another grand for environmental score, so that is good to see. And traders, you know what? I'm just gonna sell that here as it is. 16 grand, a lovely jubbly. Well, I think what we do now is quick go into town, pick up the trader, but whilst we're in there, go to the post office. Have a look at about getting another loan. There's actually a spoiler here, a sec. I'm pretty sure it will be easy as well. So, yeah, if you want that, that's 130 grand. 192. 195. 265. 365, 369. And that's for these four fields. So about 400 grand. So 225 you need. Let's say let's try, I don't know, 250, 300 grand. Because what we can do is put some of our equipment up as collateral damage. Let's say don't pay the loan back within a year, whatever it is, a year, two years. Bank can come and seize our equipment as damages. So the sprayer that costed us a hundred grand. Combine and all the other bits. That's what's that? Fifty four Let's say 55 on that, 40 on that, that's 95, 195, and the 185, put the 185 dice far on there. Yeah, that, that's more than enough. So, bank, 
to say yes, or they may say they want more equipment, because well, we're still going to be using some of this equipment over the year and that, so perhaps they may want to take an extra more value now, so in down the road, if we do pay it in the year, whatever it is, whether it appreciates or not, or depreciates, yeah, they basically got their asses covered, so let's go to the post office, bank, slash bank, and yeah, let's see what can happen from this. I'm optimistic, but you never know with people and finances and all that. They can be real sticky buggers for sure. <sighs> wow, that was intense, but after hours of talking, discussion, and uh, perhaps spending that half an hour at the pub in that, just <laughs> relieving myself, we got the approval. They approved for 275. Terms is I've got to pay it in 15, 16 months, so basically they want us to pay it by August of next year. When to maybe September, depending on a few things and that, but let's say August. Because I won't try it in August, there's a bit of a way between August and September and that, because obviously since we're at the end of April, 15 months, that'd be 4 p.m. August next year, so they may let us go in September. That's only if we start repaying it as soon as possible. And then obviously, if it's like say 50 grand after whatever needs to be paid, they're willing to help us out on that. So, but fair enough, 275. I am happy with that. That means we can buy these new plots of Zans with very good yieldage 123. 125, 125, and 125. So, so that'd be good. Slice fields and a green fields. Once we do the oats. Also, work on the combine stun now. So, yeah, basically just had to give it a bit of a run around. Yes, we did service it, repair it. I just wanted to make double sure on that, it was all mechanically sound, so... But fair enough. Put our fibre and fuel in. Put our beacons on. Okay, the traffic's good at the moment. Try not to lose our header trader. Man, it's intense getting our new Holland back. Eesh. May have to wait at the end of the lane. I was, was catching. What call on? Oh, I can't tell. That was just that was weird. Just a weird bit of. In there. Ah, it's the pipe. Ah, that's what's catching. Come on. Oh, reverse, you damn idiot. Okay, fair enough. Still got the header on. Yes, by the looks of it. Need to get out of here and have a look. Yep, the header's still on that. May of course crash there, but I'll stop beeping. Man, this is all so tense. That's why it's not so much driving the combine, I can manage that like the poles in that. It's just a true that cause. That's what I want is that hair coming off. Because we will need to get that recovered. 
Unless it falls off and slides it out, then perhaps we can grab this and put it back on the trader, but... But yeah, really don't want that. But let's see how this handles the lane. So alright, here we go, so managed to get the traffic blocked off a sec, just temporarily. But yeah, this is going to be a tight turn, so we need to go wide. Wide like that, and then start turning in, I think. Oh no, we're in, in the pylon here, that's the thing I'm worried about. So, turn, 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 turn. Oh, what do we hit? I oh, hate just the wall and that, that's good. It'd be so good if we had a second pair of hands and I was talking about a second pair of eyes. I think, yeah, it's pretty much as big as you can get away with. Oh, careful the walls. Headers still on, I think. Looks like it. Let's hop out one more time. Yes, there we go. Alright, so now we can free the traffic. waiting and now let's get this up the lane and into the yard and even the next thing is getting it reversed in or, or at least the header trader at least and we'll try it with the combine worst case scenario we'll just grab the dice far Actually, that may be best because I got no idea where I'm going with this. So, you know what? We're just going to detach. Yeah. Do you try reverse it straight in? No, that's where I'm going to see 50. Yeah, you know what? Get the trader removed. Not removed, removed. So there we go, managed to park up the combine. And actually, it's quite well actually parking the trail. It wasn't too bad parking in with the tractor and that. But we need to do something because we've got our Asteria Scout here. I'm gonna do is just get rid of it because you don't really need it in that. And we got another version here that will let us again still do sort of sampling but at a slight better range. This is the large version 65, so I guess that is what 65 meters or something. does a decent size actually perhaps if we go with even a bigger one so go down here let's just go with the biggest one 260 sure why not there we go just makes it our lives a bit easier doing the source sampling There we go, that's better. Just make quick work on soy sampling. Because we already know what the terrain is like, so it's just a mere confirmation of 
what the boundaries is for the different types of soil, if there is any different types of soil on our new plots of land. That then can be used to already implement it with our equipment with the variable application of seed, fertilizer and said herbicide where it is needed. Even with herbicide I think it's pretty natural with depending on the types of weeds you get, but definitely variable with seed and fertilizer slash slurry rate. So we head up here, cut across 5759. And then we'll get to a new plot of land. And there we go. But also, whilst we was parking up, we got a helper out. I managed to get both of those fields mowed. Yeah, sure, why not? It's duties. One sample. I will just grab a second sample up here. farm area because we did miss a few bits here and there so let's go and grab those there we go that is one sample taken that's two and then just one more Now, we just send those off. And it shouldn't take too long for that to be processed. There we go, 300 quid. And let's have a look here, so... As expected, we know this is all going to be loam and that, so I'm not too worried about that. Then also, you can see bits of silty clay with 57 and 58. And it does lead to slightly better yieldage compared to our other fields, so we can get those potentially at some point. Okay, we can get one of them now because we can afford it. Yeah, I'd love to get that fill, but it's just not that viable. If anything, I'll go with 69. Here, then we can get all these fills here, and then pots at some point merge them together. But, but yeah, so that was an easy job there done. Return you. Where did I leave this swatter, swat row? Because we could do with perhaps quickly getting the rest of that grass sorted. And obviously with those fields they don't really need plowing. But we could do with just cultivating it with our tillage, tillage and that then you put grass here and then fertilize it. But where is our swaffer? It's not over here. Where did I leave it to? Four would have left it in one of these fields over here. 
Ah, there we go. Put it away in storage. Fair enough. That was smart by me. You well, you should do. Put my equipment away straight away. So that's why you get confused me. But you know what? Let's get these over. Get the rest of these bells done, including our new grass and that. And then um, that's where I think we'll leave it for today. I think. is all of the bathing done now, I've done the rest off camera and that. And just look at that bells as far as I can see even into our new field. So what's the total? So we did twenty three bells from our small fields. From our new fields over there we got forty six and from these two fields here, we got 34 bells, so that is 34, 46, 70, 80, 103 bells in total. No, 100, wait, what's that? 46, I said, yep, 46, 34, that's 80, plus 23 is a hundred and three, that makes more sense. Hundred and three, hundred and five, whatever. But that is plenty bells. That is with stacker four sets of that. Pretty much covers the amount of size we had previously. Obviously where we lost those three fields for grains. We've made up with those new fields. However I've been thinking 
Oh, and there was a bit of a dangerous a president set there, but during the thinking, and I'm pretty much adamant we could get yeah, one more grain field of some sort, one more crop field. And that is from this field over here. It's flat ish. Yes, it starts to go up the slope there at the far end of the field. But most of this is flat. Okay, actually, you know what? Grab that a sec. Don't want the grass to go to waste, but yeah, that is almost two hectares there. I would certainly use that. There we go. But yeah, what crops should we plant though? We look at the crop calendar. We can't do any grains because next episode is going to be in May. So that leaves us with the following corn, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, or sorghum. Ooh. Now, what should we do here? Either we could do one crop this year and two next year, or do two crops this year, but only do one crop next year in terms of planting and that. Even though we would consider doing a cover crop perhaps at some point, or see radish. Because if we do sorghum now, in May, harvest that in September, plant wheat and that, and then harvest that in July, then that leaves us with either doing wheat in this field in the following year, or just convert it to a grass field. Or perhaps we could do corn. If we do corn, then from that we can get silage out of it, or soybeans, and get a money crop out of it. Logically, corn is the way to go. That gets you the most money out of silage. However, we've already got enough silage underway, so we'll do soybeans. If you do soybeans, harvest that in October. Then, if we can quickly turn around and prep that field, which we should do. Alongside of the mowing, I think, because yeah, we're in April. Next cutting kind of session will be in June, August and October, so... Whilst we're cutting all this again in October, at some point... We could harvest the soybeans, so... I think we should do that. That'd be a good way to go for us. And that's the thing, this is such a good idea, I think. I think, well, I'll detach this sec, so I'll take a little trip up here. Because I am absolutely fascinated by the f views up here. So we head up here to one of our upper lands. Just turn up here, keep on going up. But yeah, just taking that scenery. And break on. But yeah, just look at that. that is a beautiful sight to see. Okay, we know our soil's bad as we know this, we'll work on that. But boy, that is a beautiful scenery. But yeah, so anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you're going to see. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.